hello guys welcome to online chemistry course in this video we'll talk about law of reciprocal proportion proportions um, now it is actually a, a, a law that is an extension of law of multiple proportions uh, which we have discussed in the previous video so if you have understood that it shouldn't be difficult for you to understand law of multiple uh, sorry law of reciprocal proportions okay um, so if you remember if uh, we in law of multiple proportions we took two elements and here we are taking three or more elements actually so it is an extension of that law essentially uh, but it's, it's a bit different actually it's not the same but it's an extension of that law um, it was actually proposed by Reacher R I C H T R Reacher in 1792 okay and the statement goes kinda like this a long statement obviously but the law itself is a very simple law um, so let's look at the statement first uh, when two different elements when two different elements combine separately with fixed mass okay with fixed mass of third element okay so let's look at what that means so if you have let's say two elements or sorry three elements in this case s okay so you have s h and o so when s can combine with h sulfur can combine with hydrogen and you can get h2s okay h2s is a gas similarly hydrogen can also combine with oxygen to give you h2o so you can see that sulfur as well as oxygen can combine with hydrogen to give you two different compounds you can get h2s with sulfur and h2o with oxygen so here if you look at it when two different elements combine in this case two different elements were sulfur and oxygen um, and this uh, combines separately with the fixed mass of third element which is hydrogen if you look at the mass of hydrogen in both these cases it's fixed it's two uh, hydrogen in both cases and therefore they're gonna have fixed mass which is 2 amu so when the sulfur and oxygen combine with a fixed mass of hydrogen okay okay then the ratio in which they do so or they combine they combine will be same okay it could be same or simple multiple ratio in which they combine with each other combine with each other so if you if you look at the statements kinda long but you know with examples it becomes really easy so the ratio in which they combine okay so they will combine in us in some sort of ratio so what that ratio is going to be either same in some cases it could be same or it could be different if it is different then that ratio will be simple multiple ratio okay it will be a multiple ratio in which they combine with each other so if you look at this example right so here sulfur and oxygen here the ratio of sulfur and oxygen is 32 is to 16 those are the atomic masses of them so it's basically 2 is to 1 okay that is the ratio of sulfur and oxygen when they combine with fixed mass of hydrogen now if sulfur and oxygen were to combine so if sulfur and oxygen were to combine their ratio will either be this which is we, we, that's what we said the ratio in which they combine with each other could be same or simple multiple ratio right so if they combine 
then the ratio in which they combine sulfur and oxygen will either be same as 2 is to 1 or multiple ratio of or multiple of this so they can combine um, to form compounds like SO2 or they can combine to form compound like SO3 these are the compounds that we are we are aware of and so if you calculate the ratio of sulfur and oxygen in this particular compound um, it's 1 is to 1 alright so if you, if you calculate this is the mass uh, of sulfur is 32 is to oxygen is 2 oxygens each oxygen is 16 that means 32 that means this is 1 is to 1 if you calculate the ratio of uh, of SO2 which is if you look at it 1 is to 1 is a multiple of 2 is to 1 right um, in SO3 um, you have 32 is to 48 right and you can simplify it to 2 is to 3 again that is a simple multiple ratio of 2 is to 1 um, and so if you look at these all these three ratios these are basically simple multiple ratios of each other they are not fractions right that's the idea that they are not fractions oxygen and sulfur will never combine uh, with each other um, to give you a fractional and that's that's why I said it's, it's, a, it's an extension of law of multiple proportion okay um, we can take another example okay so here we have um, carbon hydrogen and sulfur and this example should clear your doubt uh, because often you need multiple examples to understand uh, at least more than one example to understand what is going on alright so you have carbon and hydrogen that will combine to give you uh, CH4 and similarly hydrogen and sulfur uh, can combine to give you H2S okay so here's CH4 and H2S now these are the two compo compounds that are possible if you calculate the ratio of carbon and hydrogen here we have 12 is to 4 okay and we're not going to simplify that even further but y you can and here we have um, so you can write it as 2 is to um, 2 is to 32 alright um, so let's let's write this let's write this um, in the same order okay, that will be better so we can write it as uh, SH2 okay and so it's going to give you 32 is to 2 now we can multiply this by 2 alright um, and we'll get we'll get 64 is to 4 and see why we multiplied it but we'll get that ratio 64 is to 4 now if you take the ratio of carbon and sulfur okay if you take the ratio of carbon and sulfur when they combine so when carbon and sulfur combine it is going to be a multiple of either this ratio okay so the ratio of carbon and sulfur is 12 is to 64 which is going to be if you simplify it it's going to be 3 is to 16 alright so when carbon and sulfur combines then their ratio is going to be either the same which is 3 is to 16 or a multiple of this okay or simple simple multiple of this so let's see if they combine so we know that carbon and sulfur can combine to give you CS2 Oops, CS2 alright so if CS2 is formed if you calculate the masses of this carbon has 12 and uh, sulfur has 64 okay there are 232 um, is the atomic mass of sulfur and there are two sulfurs so we get 64 um, and again you simplify this you're gonna get if you simplify this oops, simplify this you're gonna get 3 is to 16 which is the same ratio we got here okay so you should get so here in this case the ratio is same in the previous example it was a multiple of the ratio okay as a simple multiple ratio here it is same so this is essentially a law of 
uh, reciprocal proportion that uh, when you have two compounds okay, so when you have two compounds and when these two compounds combine right so let's say a and b combine with c okay so when these two compounds a and b combine with c they want to combine with us with some sort of ratios in some specific ratio okay and that's that was the law of multiple proportion essentially they will combine in some sort of fixed ratio now if a and b were to combine okay so let's say the ratio ratio you get here in this case let's say the ratio is ratio 1 okay of that is the ratio 1 when they combine with C um, and if A and B combines you're gonna get um, another ratio okay so they when they combine so you have ratio 2 okay so the ratio 2 is going to be a multiple it could be either same as a ratio 1 or it will be a multiple ratio of this okay so that's a law of multiple proportions uh, thank you guys if you like it please subscribe the video i'll see you in the next one